What's up guys, this is the tutorial for the new effect by Theory11 called Quantum. So here's what you need for this trick. Obviously, a Sharpie and two playing cards. You actually need a duplicate card. So you need two cards of the same value, same number, same everything. But I'm here using two different cards so you can follow up what I'm doing. It's just for demonstration purposes. But you need two of the same card. You can see that I have here a hole in one of them. You need to make this using uh, a pair of scissors, uh, an exacto knife, whatever you use, just be careful and make the hole so the Sharpie can fit in it. Now, you start the trick by having the Sharpie halfway capped, okay? You don't want it all the way capped because then it's going to be so hard to uncap it. You want it half, just halfway capped, just like that. Don't push it all the way. You want to, you want to remove it easy and this will be important in a minute. You will take the Sharpie and you will put it in your pocket. I will just say that it is now inside my pocket. Now, you will take these cards, you will put the one with the hole in it on the top. Afterwards, you can start the trick. Your audience will never know that these are two cards. You will tell them that this is only one card. You begin the trick like this, with one card, but they are actually two. What you need to do at this point is take this card, the intact normal card, and you want to put it inside your pocket. You can do it in a various ways. You can bomb it, cup it, whatever you're comfortable with, you can do it. Anyway, you want to palm this card without anybody know it, and also you want to cover this hole for now. You palm this card and you act like you are getting something from your pocket, which you are, you are getting the Sharpie, and in doing so, you will ditch this card in the pocket and take the Sharpie out. You switch the card to the Sharpie, and now it comes to the tricky part. You want to act like you are pinching through the card by counting like one, one, two, three. And now you can show this all around from all the angles. Now, you want to end up in this position where you are holding the cap using your thumb and index finger and the card using your index and middle finger. You're gonna do the following moves. You will remove uh, the actual Sharpie and leave the cap on. Leave the cap on the top. You will remove it using this hand, just like this like that and you will end up with only the cap and the card like that but this move is kind of angle sensitive so you don't want anybody in in the back or to the right but these angles are okay after you take it with your hand and you put it in this position i think you can call it some sort of a palm and don't don't forget to tilt this card downwards towards you like that so the cap is directing towards the audience because you, if you hold it like this, they can see that there is no actual Sharpie inside. You will grab the card from this end and using your left hand and you will move this cap on the card front and back. Make sure to cover this hole because you don't want to do this or like that. You want to keep covering it all the way and come back to it. And now we have to do the reverse action where we're gonna do a fast cap and you can then go back to this position and remove the card. Now at this point you will give the Sharpie for examination, you will give it to your audience and this time while they are examining the Sharpie you will take the card and put it in your pocket. If they asked to examine the card Simply remove the first card that you put, which is going to be a duplicate, as I said earlier, and you will give them this card for examination too. Make sure to practice the hard moves of this trick and then perform it, and thanks for watching.